This is Astroneer, a game that is a mix between space and Minecraft that I have wanted to take to the dance for a long time. Naturally, going to the dance by yourself is a little sad and awkward, so I had to bring along my good friend Mad Toaster Waffles for the ride. <laughs> what, what, those came from the sky! What just happened? What just happened? If you guys like the video, be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Also, be sure to go check out my Twitch, where I stream all of my full 100 days playthroughs, as well as a bunch of random games. My other socials, including my Discord server, are also linked down below. However, I have rambled on for long enough, so it's time to roll the shitty intro and then get into this beautiful video of We Spent 100 Days in Astroneer. To start off this playthrough in Astroneer, I came crashing in through the atmosphere. Once I had exited my dropship though, it was now day one. Astroneer and Basic survived the landing on Silva, that's the planet we're on. And I got like a little rope thing attached to me, alrighty. It's important to note that Toast and I had never played this game before, so don't judge us too harshly. Speaking of Toast, it took him a little bit longer than usual to join the game, but here he is. I got like a vacuum that can like suck up everything, bro. Oh, hello. Uh, where, where can I uh, get one of those asking for a friend? These vacuums? Oh, Jesus Christ, dude. <laughs> e. E. E to suck. Have you played this uh, game before? Nope. But you have like a fancy wizard skin. <laughs> I'm just built different. And how do I know when I'm running out of oxygen? I. When you die, you're probably out of oxygen. Astroneering basics. Unpack oxygenator. Oh, I feel like that's important. Yeah, <laughs> that sounds really important. Day two, we are still learning and exploring, using those massive brains for good. By that I mean we're just trying to find the oxygenator because, you know, we want to breathe. Just vibing out in here, bro. Is there a way to, like, get in? Oh, is that the oxygenator? That's what I was trying to figure out. If I can take this off or something? Okay, so we got to be able to unpack this thing, right? Oh, no, that looks like a nuclear reactor, dude. That does not look like an oxygenator. You're going to be mixing it Wait, up with it. Was there supposed to be a pod? I... I don't think so. Oh, what's this oh, wait, over here? Wait, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, what's... Uh, what's this? Oh wait, we need oxygen. Oxygen! Oxygen! Run back! <laughs> Come back! Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go! <laughs> so yeah, it's day three and we're still dumb and we still don't have the oxygenator set up yet, but uh, maybe we'll find it today? Well, this is a fan that I can place kind of somewhere. We need to unpack the oxygenator and install it. Astroneering basics. If we can't do the basics, then like, what's the point of doing the advanced stuff? Do we craft the oxygenator? You have to, you have to put it on the oxygenator, right? But it says unpack, so it's already here, right? Yeah, that's that's what I'm thinking. It's got. It should already be here. Oxygen filters and tethers it's gonna are the be only something thing. Something so dumb. I, I already know it. It's yeah, so yeah, where is this? Fun. Hold up. Okay. Starting Oxygenator is rewarded for completing the Planetfall mission at the beginning of the game. Okay, do we have a Planetfall mission? The Planetfall was what we did. We fell. Onto the planet. Got it. What? <laughs> <laughs> what? Those came from the sky! What just happened? What just happened? You have to collect the reward. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Remember when you said it would be something stupid? And put it in here. Woo! Let's go, astroneering basics. So yeah, we can All breathe. Right. Thumbs up. The morning of day four, we were starting to explore a bit more, and I learned that all plant life is not good. Whoa! Yeah. What are you? Okay, I just got killed. Is there stuff that can kill us in this game? Yes. Not too far either. Yeah, no, don't don't go near that plant over there. He's not nice. All right. Very, very much not nice, actually. Mean plant is mean. Plant mean. Later in the day, I saw this wreckage near our ship, so I made a tether line out and went to explore it. All right, I've got like a, a crash site over here or something. Oh? I got debris, a packager. What? What are you making? So there's something over here that if you power it, then it gives you stuff. 
Oh, okay. I'm gonna go keep exploring that wreck. I know what you're talking about. Day five, I wanted to see how far I could run a tether, so yeah, that's what I'm doing. And on this path, I also discovered an incredible, maybe the most important feature in this game. There's emotes in this game? Yep. That's a pretty sweet dance. Yeah, let's let's keep running. I don't even know what I'm looking for, dude. I was also noticing that today was an unusually long day. Oh, you're actually doing like important story stuff. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Figured one of us should probably uh Yeah, progress to this game while I just make a giant <laughs> Well, yours is also extremely important, so I don't you know want to bother funny? you too much. I think I've actually been outrunning the day. Like, I was wondering why it had been night for so long. Yeah, it's now day six, and it turned out I was outrunning the sun, which is pretty cool, right. but, like, it's going to be a nightmare to try to keep track of days in this game, especially when other planets get involved. So I'll do my best, I guess. But, yeah, I guess I should probably just head home today. So how's the story objectives going, just so the people in my video know where we're at story-wise? So, I've gotten a few things done. So I have made a, a medium platform, a large platform, a print, a small printer, a medium printer. Um, now I'm working on making or filling a canister with uh, soil. Got it. And I am carrying a rock and have made a long rope. The morning of day seven, we were doing some research and, well, just trying to be productive. I'm making a research thing so we can start doing a little bit of research. All right, well, I see we both did things. I brought this big rock over. Hey, that, there we go. That we see, can that's research. For our research. Yeah, yeah, exactly. All right, we're both productive. on the same, same page here. My Twitch viewers were also complaining around this time that I had PvP tagged on my stream, even though this isn't quote-unquote a PvP game. However, I'm wise enough to know that any game is a PvP game if you are creative enough. <laughs> May I ask how this is PvP? Oh shit, I forgot I left that one on. Uh... Rude. Dude, 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 our printer! Our printer, my guy! The printer! You suck! You see, you were just freaking out. I did it for the content. The morning of day eight, we were trying to print a furnace off when I decided to touch the forbidden crystal. Whoa. What, that? what happened there? I did a thing. Whoa. What are you doing? I'm touching this curious item over here. I keep having nightmares about my ship crashing, which doesn't make any sense. This is my first mission, right? Unknown ESS error menu. Global stability, 57%. The global stability lowers every time I hit that button. So maybe don't do that? <laughs> Dude. <laughs> Well, wait, what's gonna happen though? What just happened? You see the sky? Yeah, that's it, by the way. Oh, you put the sky back together. I, I don't know. Did I? Yeah. Day nine, we were doing new missions, trying to unlock new things, in particular a tractor, because, you know, who doesn't want a tractor? We've been hauling. Print a tractor. Hmm. We were also being instructed by the terminal to go after these strange lights in the sky. So yeah, let's go after those. Uh, lights in the distance. Locate one of the strange structures emitting a pillar of light. Oh, I already saw one. Okay, where is it? That's. Uh, follow your tether. Thing that changes that. Wait. Oh, there's the a plug. Does this give you power? I don't know. You can... There's a plug. I see the plug. There's a plug. <laughs> Where's the plug, Toast? How do we get in? Oh, there's some more shit down here, too. Oh, I died. Day 10, we're still pretty confused about what's going on in the world, why we're here, what that structure's for, and... 
pretty much everything actually. Nothing makes sense so far. So let's focus on something more attainable and better. Let's get a tractor. No, no, you make the tractor in the small printer. Oh? With two aluminum. Oh? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Okay. Where do we get the aluminum from, Toast? We got a tractor? We got a get, tractor. Where'd you get the aluminum from? It was inside the storage. Oh, we got something else over here. We got a trailer over here now. I want to say I was doing something cool on day 11, but in reality, I was trying to figure out how to make a packager, even though I had a packager and didn't know how to use the packager. Oh, and yeah, I didn't figure out how to use it today or for a, about another 30 days, just so you do know. You know what? I'm going to ditch the... Uh, okay, what do we want more? The horn or the, the headlight? I'm going to take the horn off for now because that's yet less useful in my eyes. Anyways, now I want to do a brainless activity, so let's go mining. What's this? Oh! What the shit was that? Great. Day 12, I actually feel productive. I'm down in the mines, gathering a ton of stuff. Laterite research items, you know the jazz. But now I'm stuck. Alright, lat... I got an aluminum material over here. Laterite or something. Or I'm trying to get back out while holding a research item. I'm trying. Like it's being a pain in the ass. I can't like get out of here, dude. Or well, I can, but like. It's, it's. I have. It's like a tightrope walk. Thankfully, if you can dig your way down, you can dig your way up. So I'm, I'm just gonna make myself another way out of here. Day 13, Toast and I head back into that mine to carry out some big research items as we got a lot to unlock and we're going to need as many research points as we can get. Okay. Follow me, Toast. We don't have... We won't have air when we go up this way. That's going to look so weird. Like, two little astronauts coming out of the ground with... Holding these big-ass rocks, bro. Yeah. Later at night, we were back to racking our big brains, just discussing plans and, you know, having intellectual conversations. And also figure out what the point of this is. Well, to destroy the atmosphere. Yep. Is destroying the atmosphere really a bad thing? I mean, actually, that sounds like a global warming, like 101. Day 14, my favorite number. We wanted to open up this power box thing near our base. But instead of just bringing a generator over, which I'm actually just thinking of as I'm recording this, we decided to run a long line of cords from our base. How many of these... What does it take to craft these? I feel like there's easier ways. Do you want to just give up? Nope. We are too close. What is that? Oh! I'm suffocating. That's what it is. <laughs> What's that noise? Death. That's what that noise is. There we go. All right. Oh, open. Research sample. How much did it give us? 365 <laughs> bytes. Let's go. Exodynamic research aid. Let's go. Was that worth it? Yep. 100%. Totally worth it. No toast. It was not worth it. There was quite a large gap in real life between the recording of day 14 and day 15. So day 15, we were kind of trying to figure it out again. All right, let's go. What were we uh, What were we doing in this, this silly little game last time? That is a great question. Our main thought process today was let's figure out how to expand this power grid. We finally figured out this game. Kind of. We've kind of figured out this game. Nah. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good way to put it. Okay, well, how how do we get, uh, what's generating our current output? These burners. So, you get a little bit of power from the shelter, but the burners is, like, all we're really getting excess power from. The morning of day 16, Toast said something that is always concerning coming out of his mouth. I got a, uh, a thing of dynamite. I am, sorry, up? I'm, I, what are we gonna blow up? I don't know, something. You're bl Probably at least the dynamite. Hit the button. Hit the button, man. Let's do this. I don't know how big the boom is going to be. I'm but... I back up a bit just in case. Nah, nah, it's good. And what do we get from it? A laterite. After that slightly underwhelming dynamite explosion, we were down in the mines the rest of the day. 
Keep an eye out for them. You can hold F on them and scan them. Oh, I knew that already. Yeah. Well, I don't know. I knew that you knew that I knew. Okay. Well, uh, you were you were wrong. Day 17, I kind of want to keep mining. So yeah, let's do that. This time in a different hole, of course. I had more resin somewhere. Did you use up all my resin? No. Our resin, sorry. Yeah, that's right, but no. Our resin. Because we share. We'd... Look, I wouldn't... Mask. It's hey, No, I didn't, I didn't use it. I didn't use it up. I 100% well, used you that up to Jeff. have a lot of canisters, and they happen to take resin. So, I don't know, man. Can you stop doubting me, please? Like, for once in my life, Ghost, I need you to trust me that I didn't take the resin. I 100% took the resin. I wouldn't lie right. to you, okay? I mean... I'm 100% lying to him right now. Oh, man, I don't know. Uh, there's... Probably brown. Oh, hello. I guess. Quartz. Glass, glass is down here. Hey, let's go. All right, that's good. That's good, right? That's what we need. Yeah. Later in the day, we were also trying to roughly plan out how the rest of this base is gonna look. A storage pile over on this area. Okay. This is where we do storage. Uh, research over here. And then refining over here. Day 18, we were trying to craft and figure out how to use the leveling block because we kind of want to repair this massive hole in the center of our base. Yeah, just a, a lovely flat really base there, Toast. <laughs> I don't fucking know how to use this shit. It, it like sticks to stuff, but it only builds on an angle. Yeah, I don't know. But we have this whole mountain here to, to level stuff out with, you know? Yeah, I don't know. It's just not giving me the crafting option, which is really weird. Why are you like this leveling block? That's so dumb. That is so dumb. Why does it auto go to the one that doesn't fill? That's the stupidest thing. Honestly, whoever designed the leveling block mechanics, you're not a good person, okay? Or maybe we're just dumb and we can't figure out the right way to do this. All right, there we go. Look base. at that. I, I fixed the hole. Wow. Did you? <laughs> no. Well, kind of. Not really, but... I've got a few leveling blocks here, so... All right. Well, good luck. This is... It's, it's bullshit. I, I don't like it. I'm trying to, to, to put makeup on this base, but it's just not working well here. Lipstick on a pig, my guy. Lipstick on a pig. Day 19, I began reorganizing our base as best I could. Yeah, I don't really have a name particularly for this hole in the mountain. You can name it whatever you want. Hole in the mountain's fine. What's wrong with that? Mount Hole. Mount Hole. Yes, that is what we will call this mine, Mount Hole. And what is the name of your hole in the mountain? Other Mount Hole. Apparently, Toast was having an interesting experience at night as well. What are you doing, um, Toast? Um. Toast? Are you okay? Um. Um? What was what? <laughs> I found a glowing orb, and then I, uh, I examined it, and then it, like, blew up into a cloud of light, and then there was a couple different clouds of light. Are you smoking weed? It's now day 20, and I'm starting today off by designing the production area a bit. At night, Toast and I also unlocked... something. What is this for? Strange object. What happens this? if I use it? Well, we've already used these before. No, this. Oh, what the fuck? Place it. It looks like a train. Come on, train. Okay, one sec. Come it's... on, train. Can't. All right, you gotta place it over here somewhere. All right, ready? Yep. Cannot activate due to objects blocking area. Oh. Oh. What, what is fuck? this? Day 21, we got this weird thing placed, so let's figure it out, I guess. Maybe, oh, there's an oxygenator over here. Oh, there we go. Hey, ceramic. Okay, I turned it on. How'd you turn it on? Okay, uh, I just hit the activate button. Oh, that'll do it? Yeah, so the there's a bunch of records and stuff on that terminal over here. Later at night, we also unlocked our first spaceship. Hell to the yes. Day 22 was mostly spent underground trying to get everything I need for the chemistry lab and just some research in general. <sighs> Mother! Woohoohoo! Oh my 
god, dude. Was not expecting that cavern right there. <laughs> Day 23, I emerged from the mines a new and changed man. I now had everything I need, though, to build a small rocket, so it was time to start printing that. Okay, okay, this is good. The rest of the day was pretty average. Day 24, the sliding mechanic was not treating me well. <sighs> oh, shit. God. The rest of the day could have gone better as well. I'm dead. Great. Again, twice. Why not? Die twice. Let's go. Oh, boy. Okay. Now, after dying three times in this spot, I think I've learned my lesson. But, like, what if I do it a fourth time? You know? It's now day 25, which means we are a quarter of the way through this playthrough. And you know what? Why would I stop dying today? The rest... I'm, I'm dead. I'm dead again here. But let's see if there's anything interesting. What is... If I'm gonna die, I wanna die like a man. I feel like we barely scratched the surface. Yeah, dude. There's. I feel like there's quite a lot in this game that we have not, not gotten around to yet. Day 26, I decided that I wanted to make a tether all the way around the world just because I could. So yeah, let's do that. Nice. I'm just gonna connect this line at a decent T-junction and just start heading straight towards you. Okay, I guess I technically made it all the way around the world. Day 27, I made this EXO request platform and I really don't know what it does. EXO request platform. Let's see, what is this thing? I found but, ammonium. You did? Yeah, not a lot, but... I, I just need one, dude. I'm trying to see if I can get a whole ammonium, but... We'll see. Turns out, the forest... Pretty good spot for ammonium. So I traveled around the entire planet, dude. <laughs> and then the forest right next to us had some ammonium. Of course, exactly. of course it did, of course. Okay, well, um, I guess I'll unlock the thruster that we need. Later in the day, we were trying to prep up our solar rocket for the first mission. Well, let's see if we even need... I mean, actually, I think we need the oxygen. I think we need to breathe. Early in the morning on day 28, it was time for our first launch. Oh. Okay. Put me in orbit. Yeah. Lithium seems important. Let's go for the lithium one. Lithium titanium, and titanium. Titanite and... Yeah. Titanium and lithium. All right, so... Because that'll probably give us batteries, though, All right. right? I'm going to Vesania, then. Once I arrived at this planet, I started setting everything up, you know, getting good to go. I started mining for titanium, and some of you might already know if you're fans of this game, but we didn't know at this point, so I'll find out soon enough. Day 29, I'm mining for titanium, but I can't seem to find any, and who knows why. Hey, yeah, all that I well, can find down here is laterite, which is stuff we already have gotta be titanium somewhere i know that there should Wait. be you're it's not looking in the right spots apparently no i'm just in the you know in a massive cave underground on the planet known for its titanium where else could uh have you tried checking other spots there's an entire planet to check toast yeah yeah check the other side of the planet have you, uh, did you look it up on Google or whatever to see what, at least what, uh, area it spawns in? No. No. Oh. Well. I don't cheat, Toast. Day 30, I wanted to say I did something interesting, but honestly, I spent a lot of the day working on my drip. I did Ammonium. Watch. What is ammonium? You have some new of that. New outfit. Looking drippy. Looking sexy, new bandit. That's what, that's what I... a tree? Yeah. Yeah, don't it worry. It sounds like you're losing. <laughs> yeah, I was. Day 31, I'm back in the mines looking for titanium, and I still haven't realized. But, you know, soon enough, right? How am I not dead? Um, I will be dead soon, though, if I don't figure out how to go up. <laughs> how do I go up? You have to go against gravity. I... Yep, thanks. Thanks. Um... I need you to tell me what the titanium is for. And then I'll be more motivated to get it, you know? Building something? Well, oh, thanks. I knew that. But, like... Day 32 began in proper Bandit Banks fashion. 
Right, I don't want to die, so I'm just not. I'm going to do this carefully. Chew up there. With a morning like that, I wonder what happened at night. Like, the longer the straw, the harder the suck, you know? You don't need to put it like that, but yeah, no, I'm picking up what you're putting down. Over here on the Band of Banks YouTube channel, we support... <laughs> we are pro-suck. <laughs> Early in the morning on day 33, I finally figured it out. Saying ya. God damn it, God. I'm, on, I'm guessing you're on the, the mountain one. Oh, on Vesania. Lithium found in caves, which is what I found. Titanite found in the mountains. Fuck me, dude. Are you kidding me? That, uh, come on. Really? And just to add a little insult to injury, I died. Day 34, it was time to start looking in the right places. Would you look at that? Titanite. Titanium. Right? Right there. Literally like 30 feet away from my spaceship. Turns out if you look in the right spots, it doesn't take all that long. Day 35 was primarily spent getting Titanite. Actually, why don't we read the book? Let's see if it says it in there. <laughs> no, no, we can't do that. Nothing as good has ever come from reading that book. Yeah, yeah. a lot less pain has come from reading that book. Yes, Titanium looks like grass. What the fuck? Why? Yeah. Got some steel leaves going on? I also got into a few disagreements with the local wildlife. The plants do suck. Like, there's no... Not really nice plants, just mean plants. You leave me alone and I'll give you, like, some water or something. Yeah. When it times comes time to, like, choose which plants get to go and which ones get to stay... I'll be... I'll look at you more favorably. The morning of day 36 was spent fully filling my inventory with Titanite, and then it was time to head home. And before you judge our storage situation, I want you to know, we know it's not good. Oh my god, we have s <laughs> I can see you haven't been storing too much. Nah, I've just been making piles. Yeah, I know this. Day 37, we were in need of tungsten. Toast wanted to stay on the planet and continue working on his things, so I launched again, off to a new planet. Thrusters, all right. Launch to another planet. I guess I'm back off. But I had learned this time to read ahead of time, so I knew where to look to find it. Okay, I think I might have just found tungsten. Okay, I found wolframite. Good. Nice. All right, so at least I know what it looks like and kind of where it is now. The morning of day 38 was spent getting as much tungsten as I could get my greasy paws on. I am very slowly making my way back. I gotta go up and over a mountain. That's the path I got. Once I was all filled up, it was time to head home. Day 39, I was down in the mines on our home world. I was trying to find black boxes that contained exochips as we were going to need a few for some upcoming projects. But I wasn't having much luck at all. Yeah. Yeah, I, there's tungsten at home. As well. Okay, we need glass as well. Day 40, I'm still looking for these boxes, and you can probably guess how well it's going. I died twice in the exact same spot. I landed on Damn. my old body. I also feel like it should be noted that you need dynamite to get into them. Well, I'm getting a decent amount of research done. Hey, Toast. Yeah? Are you shitting me? What? What do you mean? I fell into, like, this straight, deep hole near our base. Yeah? And at the bottom of it's a black box. Did you make oh. that hole as a troll? No. Because there's no tethers down there. It's literally just a hole straight oh. down. I might have fallen into a hole and didn't feel like getting back up, so I just dug straight down. Yeah. I did do that at one point. I didn't look around. There's a black <laughs> box right there. I landed on it. It insulted me. <laughs> That's funny. No, it's not funny. It's a, Why is that random hole there? And there's no air down there. There's nothing down there that I can use. Later in the day, I did have some success, though. Oh, God. That was a big, that was a big boom. And I got three exo chips out of that. Hey, there we go. 
It's now day 41, I'm still in the mines from getting my exo chips, and I am down very, very deep, looking for a black box that Toast was claiming was somewhere, but was actually nowhere. Well... How the hell did you get out of here, dude? Uh, it was a... That, now, now you understand how I came out of another hole. <laughs> yeah, but there's no tethers leading to that other hole. If I die here, Toast, I'm gonna be so disappointed with you. How is it my fault <laughs> if you die? <laughs> It's completely your fault. You stranded what? me down here. I didn't strand you down there. You pretty much did. You went down by your own volition. And I that didn't die. Is We're okay. Your problem. All right. But still, it would be your fault. You didn't make a clear I... path out. You just dumped tethers down in this dark abyss. I was <laughs> lost and confused, okay? Why didn't you make like a line of tethers leading you home somewhere? Because my tethers make sense. No, they don't. They yes, really they do. They, 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 no, they make, they make... My tethers are they, engineered. They end off randomly. Yeah, those are exploring tethers, but they all connect back to the main line. Yeah, but, like, at what point... You don't just jump off tether, a... The... Yeah, you don't just jump off a cliff and drop, like, one tether on the wall and be like, all right, now there's a way out. Like, that's a one-way trip. Well, no. No, I, I... Oh, no, I probably did do that at one point. <laughs> yeah, now you know where I was trapped. Yeah, it took me pretty much all day to get out. Day 42, it was time to cook up the good stuff. We got it over here. Don't mind the storage room. It's not... Well, it's not really a storage room, actually, but like storage it's... Storage pile. Yeah. <laughs> day 43, we were searching... Yeah, that's right. Searching for hydrogen and nitrogen. And... Yeah, we... Again, we really need to read more. Okay. Hydrogen makes hydrazine, and then we need nitrogen to combine the hydrazine with something else to make the um, titanium. Yeah. Nitrogen's the fuel you use to make the titanium alloy. Well. Oh, we need the atmospheric condenser. What does that do? It condenses the atmosphere into whatever. I'm sorry, what? It condenses the atmosphere into uh, its base components. So hydrogen and nitrogen. Yeah. Okay, I've got good news and bad news. What? Actually, I don't really have any good news. The buggy's in a pretty deep hole here. <laughs> God damn it. So you can flip it by pressing F on it. I'm not concerned about um, that. I'm you'll concerned. have to dig a ramp, I guess. Oh, fuck. Get it out. God damn it, dude. Yeah, hey man, I'm... Have you been there? Point as you. Yeah, I've been there. Day 44, we need iron for the atmospheric condenser, which means I'm going on another adventure. Right, nothing in my inventory. Okay. Bon voyage. <laughs> Goodbye, I what will... What if they steal your oxygenator? No! Why does it let me steal the oxygenator as you're taking off? We don't have any more ammonia. <laughs> I need to get, I, got, I gotta land. <laughs> God fucking damn it. You dumbass, dude. That, okay, that one, my bad. <laughs> you stole right, my oxygenator. Why? I have to land Wait, now. Are, we don't. How are you in space right now without any oxygen? <laughs> We have no ammonium left, so Toast is gonna go get some to get me another solid rocket thruster. So I'm just gonna sit here AFK because I deserve it after that. Day 45, I have a new rocket thruster, so I'm off to Glacio. Turns out this planet is bare as shit and I don't have any compounds, so I can't really explore it. So I'm gonna head to a moon that has iron in the caves. Day 46, I'm in the caves of Novus looking for iron, and I won't lie to you, I've had better days. Oh, and look at that, there's iron down here. Perfect. Just as deep as I can go. But I'm nowhere, there's no chance I'm finding this body again, so. <laughs> if you're gonna go, there's definitely, like, worse ways to die, you know? Probably. Like, fire? Bad. Drowning? I'd argue worse than fire. Um, well, like, if, if that's just, like, dying heroin, uncomfortable. Heroin, I, I haven't heard one heroin addict say that they had a bad death. So, okay. you know? Yeah, but I've never- what? Is this your argument? To be fair, they, yeah. Yep. That's, that's the- that's the angle you want to take that's, for this one? That, 
that's the angle. <laughs> I, I feel like there's better angles to take. Day 47, I'm still underground, dive down deep, trying to get that sweet iron. Right. Why do these caves all have these massive holes just... Oh, man. I'm dead again. I'm dead again. I might have made it down deep enough to get iron. Is this iron? Yes. Okay. Finally found it. Give me... Give it to me. Hey, yo. Yes. Oh, give me that red pointy iron. By the end of the day, I at least had a little. The morning of day 48, Toast and I are having an interesting conversation while I'm trying to find some more iron, but not having much luck. Alright, can I use a dynamite on one of these radioactive things? I want to know what's in it. Do you want to w come with me to blow up a uh, radioactive thing, or no? Uh, that just sounds like it's a bad idea. Hey man, if I'm going to nuke the planet, you might as well see- Right? Yeah, I'm just going to be flying back home, just boom. So there's a misplaced cargo container that, when I stand next to it, it makes the crackling noise of a Gaga counter. So you want to blow up the giant radioactive thing? Yeah, it's like overflowing with uh, radioactive debris. You're not seeing any potential? Yeah, he did just... Modified live extract, property of exodynamics. Oh, also, what did you call the counter? What? What'd the you, Gaga counter? The Gaga counter? Or Gaga? The Gaga? Or Gaga? The, not Lady Gaga, dude. Gaga, right? No. Geiger. No? Geiger? Yeah. Geiger. Yeah. No shot. It is a Geiger counter. Yeah. Okay, never mind. All right. It's not the Gaga I'll give, I'll counter. Give you this one. The rest of the day was spent trying to get out of the caves, getting out of the caves, and then heading home. Pretty much the entirety of day 49 was spent gathering all the materials we would need to accomplish an absolute dream of ours, getting the large rocket. Check it out. This is what you've if been you doing. You're supposed to figure out how we can make a goddamn rocket that can get us out of there here. There's so much garbage, though. So I put it all in a pile. <laughs> that way we can recycle it all. All right. I I think I got I got the process that we need to follow figured out, I think. All righty. By the time night fell, it was printing. Okay. All right. The large rocket is crafting toast. The morning of day 50 is the halfway point in this playthrough. And fittingly, the large, beautiful rocket is now completed. All right. Well, I'm going to unpack this thing quick. Oh. All right. So that's what it meant by having big storage space. We also luckily got a hydrazine thruster from one of the rewards we did, so that's perfect. And the rest of the day was spent getting this rocket mission ready. I gotta say, the buggy is a lot better for, like, exploratory missions. Yeah, the buggy is, like, buggy's good for getting away fast. Day 51, we were adding storage silos to the main rocket, as well as crafting up some hydrazine for fuel. Pretty much all of today was spent just getting this rocket even more ready. Should we bring a means of power? Uh, it might not be the worst idea, actually. Day 52, we headed off to another planet. We decided we wanted to set up a base to make titanium, so we chose the beautiful purple planet of Vesania and got to work. What about the... There's one with a rocket on it already. I think what that's the that one, one I already... Like I'll... the little rocket platform looking one? I'm gonna go land on that one. I'm gonna go land on that one. I think that's the one I already landed on. Yeah, yeah. Okay, should we land there then? Uh, no, this isn't actually the one I already landed on, but it's a good enough spot. Just Can carry your rocket over, it over here, dude. Hey, don't mind me, just... All in a rocket. Yeah, come on over, Toast. In Soviet Russia, we don't need truck, we carry <laughs> our rocket. How'd you get in there? <laughs> I just hit F. Like, I, I just kind of... Like, you just sit in it. <laughs> yeah. Wow, gravity. Day 53 was a day of expanding our Vesania outpost. I need some of these power extenders, actually. Take as many as you want. I didn't know if they were a vital part of your operation. Oh, completely vital, but I guess I'll live. Oh, that's sarcasm. That's what that is. Oh. Look at you go. 
Turns out we were going to need an atmospheric condenser, so I headed back to our homeworld late at night to gather some of the materials. The entirety of day 54 was spent crafting and gathering everything I would need to craft two atmospheric condensers because we wanted two, for some reason. Yeah, I guess we can start making proper bases on these planets now that we figured out what, you know, what we need to siphon from them. And then dropped all that stuff off on our new planet. Sorry, I'm creating out a whip. Is the whip really the most important thing right now? It sure is. <laughs> I don't know, man. I feel like there's more important things that we could be printing right now. I feel like there's lessons, you know, there's stuff to explore. There's a beautiful yeah, world. Yeah. I feel like printing out the whip for family isn't the... No, uh, no, we gotta, we gotta explore that beautiful world that you're talking about. Day 55, it was time to leave Toast alone on this planet so he could blossom and make us a beautiful titanium outpost. Uh, good. I wish you the best of luck, sir. Much appreciated. Alright, I'm All right. off. I then went home and started looking for ammonium, because I was going to need some for what I had planned. All of day 56, I was just trying to find ammonium. Hello, ammonium. Yeah, that's pretty much it. In the morning on day 57, I was heading home with my large stash of ammonium. The rest of the day was spent using that ammonium to craft up some fuel, so now I had 24 launches on my big rocket, and then of course preparing my big rocket for a colonization mission. Because yeah. I didn't lose it, so I shouldn't lose buggy privileges over something I didn't lose. You picking up what I'm Being putting down, Toast? You're not on the planet. Yeah, okay, that's fair enough. I don't think it matters. <laughs> I guess I will allow it for now. Day 58, I was good to go. I launched off and headed to Kalidor. This planet had a bunch of wolfamite on it, which could be crafted into tungsten, and we would need a decent amount of it, so we wanted an outpost here. So once I chose a landing site, it was time to start building. Perfect. The reward for that thing we just got was a buggy and a rover seat. Nice. Which is perfect, so now I have one on my planet. Day 59, the expansion continued, and while the original plan was just to have this be a tungsten planet, the amount of ammonium gave me an idea. Yeah, I can grab hydrogen too from the atmosphere in this planet, so I could turn this into a fuel fuel stop. There you go. We I'm working on a titanium. fuel tungsten and then sulfur if we need it. This planet okay. will be for fuel and tungsten mainly, and then whenever we need sulfur, because I imagine we'll need it to craft something, I can also get that here. So yeah, this is going to be a big project, but let's get started setting this thing up. I'm okay. starting to set up the infrastructure. Day 60, I was back on our homeworld. I was using some of the resources we had to craft up things I would need to make the outpost that I wanted. So yeah, that's what I spent most of the day doing. I have too much uh, titanium. The titanium is what you need to make storage silos, so theoretically you've got an infinite amount of storage yeah later at night though i headed back to calador i've almost filled Thanks, up an banana. entire medium storage silo with uh argon <laughs> that's uh damn well i'm lucky that i am uh recording just the game and not my screen because uh i have my email attached to this computer yeah and it had my full legal name pop up in an email <laughs> in a notification <laughs> Day 61, I'm AFK here because I'm in the bathroom in real life. Just thought I'd let you know that, yeah, I'm also a human. But yeah, the rest of the day was spent just expanding the base, you know, doing what needed to be done. TikTok tells you to invest in something. You got to do it. I mean, they clearly oh, yeah. know what they're talking about. Exactly. Why would they lie? Pump and dump scheme who? What? They would never. Yeah, they get a bad rep because they slept with a couple of kids. All right, but like, we all make mistakes. So did Minecraft YouTubers, yes. so, you know. Exactly, no one's canceled. Well, I some mean... people are, but like. Day 62, Toast said he had some stuff for me, so I headed on over to his planet. D damn, that's, that's smelted titanium. Yeah, I smelted it all already, too. Look at me go. I then went to drop off a ton of this stuff on our home world, and then head back to my new outpost world. Day 63, I'm back on Calador, working on the outpost, expanding, you know, the usual jazz. Ceramic, glass, and tungsten. So imagine, I just gotta get, I just gotta get the chem lab, then I can get the fuel up and running, and then it's just, 
Getting a bunch of the uh, tungsten shit, pretty much. It's now day 64, and yeah, that's what I look like. And I know what you're thinking, wow, he's so good looking. And yeah, I know, it's a gift. I usually record separately from what I stream, obviously, but for this one, for some reason, the recording's all messed up. So yeah, you're getting the Twitch VOD for the next nine days. And before you say I look tired, I know I was. So don't judge me too harshly, but I kind of have a resting tired face. <laughs> Anyways, it's day 64, and I'm looking for what I need to build a chemistry lab. Why would you want to ignite the thruster just sitting on the ground? I wonder what happens if you do that. Well, it probably just launches the thing yeah. into orbit. Just without it. I like, mean, that happens, really right? Like, things yeah. happen. Day 65, I was mainly trying to find clay, and again, I wasn't doing too well. No! Damn it. What? Eh, nothing. I thought it was worse than it was. Turned out Toast had some, so I went over, grabbed it, and then headed home. The morning of day 66, I could finally make myself a chem lab. Chemistry lab, perfect. Now I need a atmospheric condenser too, which is plastic, glass, and iron. Shit. How much iron did you get? I didn't feel like going to grab that iron today, so I just spent the rest of the day beginning to set up my automation. If there's one department where I would want them to be the least chill, it would probably be HR. Yeah, that's until you're the funny one. <laughs> you know, comedy comes at a price, all right? And that price is usually my job. <laughs> yes. Day 67, I went home to grab some iron and graphite, then headed back to continue building my outpost because what else am I going to do? Once you get the hang of this sliding thing, it's all right. Yeah. So you you got to know when to you know, pump the brakes. Yeah. <laughs> if you know the cave, it's good. If you don't know the cave, it's, it's not good just a free fall yeah day 68 i was just doing my thing when toast found something oh i got a little snail dude you know what i got a little snail dude yeah he's got a little, little mustache snail and he sings to me a must a mu what'd you just call it oh, hold up you have a singing snail that wants me to dance for him or something of course i had to go home and see this myself i'm here I'm gonna check this out. This little dude. He's just singing. You weren't lying. Yeah. Oh, do a little dance for him. Do a little dance for him. Wait, what is the emote wheel? <laughs> what is this? Alright, not every emote. Maybe we just stick him in the jar. We can stick him in the jar. Here, man. He's in the jar! Alright. I thought you were gaslighting me with a dancing snail for like... Nah, nah, it's serious. <laughs> you can never be too sure with Toast. There, there's certain things even he wouldn't lie about, and a dancing snail is one of them. Oh yeah, why, why would I lie about that? That's such an out-of-pocket thing to lie about. Yeah. Day 69, I'm down in the mines on my planet trying to get some laterite. No, no, I just get killed. That's what happens. I just get murdered. Cold blood. My automatic gas station is almost done at this point as well. Later in the day, I just went home to grab some laterite because I couldn't be bothered searching for it anymore. But yeah, late at night, everything's in place and it's pretty much up and running. Calador. Feels not fully ready though yet. I'm just, it's, I'm going out to get as much ammonium as I can right now, pretty much. I'm gonna give you a hand. Day 70, Toast finally joined me on my gas station planet, and automation is going swimmingly. Yeah, so it grabs, you just put the ammonium on this one here. It, it generates the hydrogen over there. And then it puts them both in this chem lab, which makes the hydrazine, and then stores it over here. We're gonna need a bunch of ammonium, though, to fill up the gas station, so let's go find that. This thing, this, this buggy has great traction control, but... Climb a wall with that thing. Then it hit, hits a bump and it immediately flips over. The, the center of gravity isn't great. There's no in between. It's either wonderful or horrible. Yes. <laughs> I can't decide which. The morning of day 71, ammonium collection is still going strong. 
and then Toast conveniently left to go to the bathroom about five seconds before this happened. What the shit? Uh, Toast? Oh shit. What is that noise? Okay, well I guess I'm gonna die. I guess I can just suffocate if I have to, but this is weird. Hey, can you come check me out here? Oh, you're just chilling. It's making oh, the worst noise. No. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's pretty much what we're gonna have to do here. It's sad. Okay. It's making a constant noise like I'm falling, dude. When like. did Newton discover gravity? No. The late summer of 1666. Yeah, all of a sudden, everyone was just, you know... Everyone in 1665, thing, be like... Whatever, and they just hit the ground. <laughs> yeah. Day 72, we're still at the gas station, and it's starting to get full. I mean, I just fully loaded mine up, so... Okay. Yeah, I'll, uh... Mine's full, too, but let's make a... Quick little run. And Toast is also discovering new things on this planet. Hey, if or... I walk by these giant, like, spindly leg things, am I gonna get stabbed? Because it looks like I'm gonna get stabbed. I walked by something and it one-shotted me. I don't know what it was and I don't know where it was. Day 73, my face is gone. I know you must be crying, but now we're back to actual good-looking gameplay. Today I was just collecting Wolfamite though, as, you know, that's kind of the reason I was here, was to set up a tungsten automation system and I need Wolfamite to do that. Yeah, but you'd prefer to have at least some game audio in there, right? It would be nice if they could hear the, the whooshing noise, you know? And like, you know, the... The, the sound of mining and building and, you know, success and whatnot. Day 74, we wanted to head to the ice planet, Glacio, because there's a ton of iron on the surface, but we needed tethers and stuff for that because that planet's pretty bare. So I was gathering tethers today. Is there a tower yet? No, no tower yet. I don't know how you would construct Yeah, I don't know how you'd, you space. can't, we can't even really build in this I game. I want to say our spaceships are Yeah, tower? that's a tower right there. There you go. Yeah, because that's the, the tallest thing that you can build, right? Yeah, you can't really build. Yeah, no, this this game is is not tower friendly. It's not inclusive in that sense. And then I headed over early on day 75, the three quarter mark in this playthrough. I touched down on Glacio. Surprised you don't need like a cold suit or something to come to this one. You know, I was. I'm glad you don't need one. I'm glad you don't need one too. I'm just saying, I'm surprised you don't need one. Isn't like a space suit kind of like a cold suit? Yeah, yeah, you could, you could define it as such. I started exploring around, realizing it was pretty bare, and I should have brought some stuff. So yeah, I'm gonna head back to Kalidor, get some generators and stuff, and bring them on over. Cause we're not known for being confusing, are we? No, no, not at all. We're known for being straightforward, honest, to the point, just yeah. responsible gentlemen. Day 76, I'm back on Glacio. It's a different landing spot because I didn't mark the last one, unfortunately, but yeah, let's start building a bit of an iron base here. Sounds like I have sole voting rights. No, we all get voting rights. Rapes. <laughs> I think you just lost yours. I did, I did just lose mine. Toast also decided he wanted to join me. Oh, hello, why are you here? Am I not invited? No, no, I was just curious. It's, you want to help me set up a uh, an iron smelting array, I guess? Uh, yeah. Day 77, we're starting to expand our new outpost and just having some interesting conversations along the way. Is a hot dog a sandwich, yes or no? Yes, by definition. By definition, a hot dog is a sandwich. Yeah, hot dog, it's kind of riding the line between a, uh, a hot dog, or sorry, a sandwich and a uh, taco, you know? Uh, I haven't heard it put like that, but that makes surprisingly good sense. Also, later in the day, jetpack. Whoa, hello. <laughs> okay. Let's go, the power of the jetpack. See, it's not that I want to see you die from fall damage, but... Let's test it. Be kind of funny. I died to fall damage. 
Nice. Are you happy? Um, you know what? Not as happy as I thought I'd be. I I need no because for the YouTube video I need an overreaction laugh, just screaming laughing pretty much. So I, funny! <laughs> you sound, wow! You sound like someone's got a gun to your head. Come on, give me some more authenticity. Um, you see the problem with that is is that uh, you're asking for it. You know, it's gotta just happen. Yeah, I know. You know what I'm saying? I'm picking up what you're putting down. Day 78, Toast is back on the main world. He wants his gastropod. I want one aluminum and two ceramic. So we were gonna have a fair exchange, but it kind of went downhill from there. Emma tight. That's for iron, dude. Well, sucks. It, it does. Where's my jar? It sucks. What, where's my jar? Oh, it's on my backpack, but like, the, the deal was two ceramic and one aluminum. I'm only seeing two ceramic here. <laughs> See, it's right there. All right. That's fine. I'll just, uh... <laughs> run, run! <laughs> See ya! You fucker! <laughs> you didn't even take the research with you! <laughs> Goodbye. Day 79, I had Toast ship, and I was just back on the home world getting all the materials I needed. I then went back to Glacio, had our exchange with Toast, and began setting up a landing pad. Makes sense, yeah. Did you take my fuel off? I didn't, actually. That was how many launches you had. <laughs> no shot. I swear I didn't touch it. The morning of day 80, I actually set up the landing pad, finally marking a landing location from orbit on Glacio, and a landing pad. Perfect. And then I spent the rest of the day just gathering iron. There's so much iron. Oh my god! Why is there so much iron? The morning of day 81, I was AFK, and look at that nice cinematic view that happens when you're AFK for long enough. And then Toast said something later in the day that piqued my interest. Do you want to be there when I turn on the, uh, the thing? Turn on what thing? The thing. What thing? The alien thing. You're turning on an alien? Yeah. Well, hell yes, I want to be there to see that. I'm on my way. Day 82, we were at this alien structure trying to turn it on. Oh? What is this? Dim node, dim node. Okay. Oh, so we just. So we just activated one of the things on the Should surface. Should we go activate all of them? There's five total. And that looks like it might activate something in the center of the earth. I say we go do that. Yeah. Okay. That sounds pretty neat. All right. That was fairly nifty. So you know what? Let's do all of them on this planet. Oh boy. There, there, just so you know, there's a massive pit. All right. I got wedged in between it, but like I kind of got stuck, so it worked out for me. And I didn't fall all the way in. Day 83, we arrived at the next pillar after a long trip and fired it up. Or number two of five, actually, I think is how many there were. So is this like the story mode? Yes, I don't know. All right, yeah. Uh, it yeah, it's on. One, two. Oh, this looks like there's six total, actually. Well, let's go off to the next one, and wow, we got to go around a mountain for this guy. Day 84, I'm in a little buggy, so I am far ahead of Toast and waiting for him at the next pillar. There we go. And that's three done, so three more to go. The morning of day 85, pillar number four is fired up, so let's head off to number five. I was struggling a bit to get to this next one, and Toast ended up getting there first, so I got to watch number five light up from a distance. Pretty nifty. Yeah. All right, and the last surface one, I think, right? 
Yeah, well, I don't know if we have to, like, I think we have to do the surface ones and then maybe something will happen in the center, but I don't really know how it works. Later in the day on day 86, we were finally able to fire up the sixth one. So let's see what happens now. All right, now do we check the orb, I guess? Well, you do, I can't get up there. What do you see, Toast? It looks like we gotta go to the interior one. Okay. Is, it, is there like anything different? What or? the fuck? Toast! My back? Yeah. It's a teleporter. You'll see. No! What? It Did broke. out? Fuck! Uh, how do I get up there? Well, you can hit the one by our house. Oh, yeah, I guess you can go through anyone's. Yeah, and we're gonna go to the center one anyways. Grab all your things. Most of day 87 was honestly spent trying to get home. That's the other problem with this thing is it goes so fast, like... It's hard to... You just yeet yourself into holes pretty quick. Oh, shit. Like that one. God, <laughs> damn it! <laughs> no. Oh, boy. Well, start drilling. Eventually, though, like all massive obstacles in our lives, we overcame it. And by overcame it, I mean we got home. Yeah, that, that was the end goal, just, just getting home. Day 88, we wanted to get to the center of the Earth, so I spent most of the day preparing, getting compound for tethers, making drill mods, stuff like that. With enough tethers, yeah. If we had tethers and... I'd actually be more concerned about getting out at that point. Um, well, as long as you don't have anything that you actually need, you could just die down there, right? I suppose. I mean, aren't we going to be able to, like, teleport out of there? Isn't that the whole the whole spiel? Oh, yeah. How it works? So you could just dig straight down. Day 89, I realized I wanted drill mod number three if I wanted to get to the center of this planet without, you know, wanting to shoot myself. So I was going to need a diamond for that, so let me try to make one. Uh, I want to see what it takes for the diamond thingy-mabob. This process of making one included a trip to another planet. I'm going to a fuel planet anyways. Did you take my fuel? What? Did you take the fuel off my rocket? No. I don't know if I believe you. Day 90, I was crafting up that diamond when life called. Hey, Toast. You know, yeah. like we're, we're like best friends, right? Okay. I like where this is going. <laughs> what did you do? <laughs> my dad wants me to go pick him up real quick from Canadian Tire. Oh, so I gotta entertain the uh, the crowd. Well, it's like it's like a twenty minute round trip. Uh, yeah, it's, yeah, I know, I know where Canadian Tire is. So I have to entertain the crowd for twenty minutes. Yeah, yeah, but I'm, how am I going to explain this in the video? You know. That Toast took over because you decided to leave him. I don't want to put it like that, person. right? So yeah, we're watching Toast Perspective for a little bit. Day 91, I don't know what Toast got up to, so let's find out together. Very late on day 92, I returned from my trip, and let's figure out what they got up to over two in-game days, because it couldn't have been that crazy, right? Uh, one of them said that they could nuke Canada, and I was like, that, that wouldn't be such a great idea. It's because, you know, y'all are just downwind of uh, <laughs> Canada. <laughs> yeah. Like, you remember when uh, Quebec caught on fire? <laughs> yeah. Like, not that long ago, and they we smoked out, like, a <laughs> lot of the states. <laughs> Pretty much, the, yeah, the states were... Didn't we give New York the worst air quality ever? Day number three, I had drill mod number three attached to my drill, so it was time to start mining to the center of Silva. All right, so... Uh... I am so close to being able to activate this thing. What are you wait? What have you been? What have you been doing? Yeah, I should probably ask. So that. I I got the funny gas that I was trying to get. The start of day ninety four, I busted into a new biome that I haven't seen before. There's like these massive caves kind of near the center. I actually don't even know if I'm near the center. I can't even lie. I don't think we've been down this deep before though. It turned out getting down to the center of this planet was going to be quite a headache because I kept busting through the roofs of caves pretty much and it was impossible to get down further without, you know, dying. I'm a nerd though and I am persistent so I will make this work. Oh no! No, no, no. No, do not- no, 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 Fuck, I'm- This is- What? Well. What'd you do? 
No, this thing keeps shooting like gas clouds at me, more or less. Early on day 95, I finally busted into the region known as the core. I didn't really know what I was looking for down here, but I figure I'll know it when I see it. I, I made like it, I made it to like another organic, there's like organic shit down here. So, so I, did I just crack the center or did I like make it to the center? That's, I don't know. Oh, I found the center. Nice. That's got him. Right? I mean, there's no way that's not it. That kind of looked nutty. I didn't really know how to get down, though, so sometimes you just got to take a leap of faith. Honestly, brothers, it's been real. Let's go! Holy shit. Find a gateway engine. Okay, I lived. Day 96 was entirely spent in the core, obviously exploring it, admiring it, and also trying to figure out what are we actually supposed to do down here? Like, I, there's no instruction manual, right? I thought I was dead there, so like, I'm not, I'm not sure what to do. It's called a gateway engine, this place. See, what gateway I... engine sounds like something that would transport you between planets. Yeah. Yeah, so you can just walk all around this. And it will change your... Okay. Pretty cool. You might need quartz? Quartz? Day 97, Toast had joined me in the core. So it was time to see if we could fire this thing up. So I think I just... Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Let's see, do you take that? I, oh, I bet we put it on the one up here. Okay. Okay. Ready? Yep. Yeah, it fits. All right. Now. Okay. The we dim activated. node? Huh? What is the dim node? The what? Cosmetic ele elevation? Or cosmic elevation, sorry. I'm clicking on the dim node. Where does it go? Oh, that's probably to travel to different planets. Don't worry, by the way. We'll figure out what that dim node is before day 100. But for now, we're going to go try to activate the moon Novus. Day 98, we land on Novus. I begin drilling towards the center of it while Toast begins crafting a piece of silicone as that's what we need to fire this one up. How? <laughs> you got licked to death. You got... What? You got what to death? God damn it, man. What the hell is that explosion? That's me breaking rocks. It's like gunshots, dude. Yeah, a little bit. Early on day 99, I broke through to the core of Novus. <laughs> Alright, I found the core. You got the uh, silicone? Yeah. Come on down. So I wait for Toast to get on down to me, and then we fire this thing up. So yeah, fire it up. Pop it in? Yeah, just pop it into one of them. And then with this, we should be able to activate the core of this moon. Unlocked. We unlocked a dance. Solve the gateway dim engine. Dim node. It's uh. Don't let me use the dim node. Oh, I think if it's a dim node, that means it's not turned on yet. So how do we turn it off? We are still slightly confused about this dim node at this point. Thankfully, I was streaming, and one of my Twitch viewers said, "Hey, you should see if something spawned around the sun." Okay, so this is where we gotta go. Hey, Toast. Yeah? There's something else floating around the sun right now. 
Here we are, we have made it, it is now day 100, and there's no better way to start today than by landing on this unidentified satellite. So yeah, let's spend a day trying to figure this thing out. Alright, okay, wait, so... Oh? All right, perfect. There you go. Go to the center of Novus. Okay. I just activated Novus for the um for this thing. So this cool. is like a gateway for all of them. How did you turn it on? Did you uh, need something special or did you just hit a button? You have to be on the satellite and then go to activate it from the satellite more or less. Also, it turns out there's a lot left for us to do in this game. Once okay. you place you have to place a stone from the center of each planet on one of these rings. Oh. Yeah. Like hmm. that same stone we used to activate it. Yeah, you make another one? Yeah, you make another one. And then you place each of those onto this. And then once all seven are activated, then the end you get the ending cutscene. And you win the game. Huh. Well, that's, uh, I guess, our goal for 200 days. Yeah. Damn, look at all those planets. That's kind of beautiful. And with that, Toast and I have officially spent 100 days in Astroneer. There was a lot of stuff we discovered a little too late, unfortunately, but this is stuff that's pretty cool and stuff that we hope we can do in 200 days. I guess that means there's a question I gotta ask Toast. I like this game. Looking forward to 200 days if, uh... People like the game, you know? So, well, I guess, I guess, I guess that means you, you know what I got to ask you, right, Toast? <sighs> I guess so. Yeah. It's, it's always it's that time of the video. It's that time. I kind of want to do 200 days in this, so, you know, but I, it, it's tradition. I got to ask you, Toast, how many likes would it take? For us to do 200 days in this beautiful game, get all these stones here now that we actually know what we're supposed to do, and beat the game. What are you thinking? Oh, um, I don't know. I'm thinking 7,000 likes. 7,000? 7,000. Pretty 7, 000. reasonable. That's a re that is a reasonable amount, but I was thinking more like five, you know? Five? These are, these are short days. Yeah, yeah, I guess we could do five. Yeah, let's I think, do five. I think five. I think five's a good I, amount. Yeah. I was thinking five initially, but then I was like, ah, uh, maybe we give it a minute, you know? Yeah. But I like. Five? I like this game. I like. I think five's a good. I think five's a All reasonable right. light goal. Yeah. Yeah. So if this video gets five k likes, two hundred days, we beat the whole game. Yeah. Sure. But yeah, there you have it. Five thousand likes, and we will do two hundred days in Astroneer and probably beat the game. We're gonna try to. Now that we, you know, actually know what we're supposed to be doing. If you did enjoy the video, be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Be sure to check out Mad Toaster Waffles. All of his links are down below. Along with my socials, including my Twitch, where I streamed this entire 100 Days playthrough, along with every other one, along with the variety games I play, and my Discord that I'm trying to grow and do some more community events for. Be sure to let us know down below what other games you want to see us play. But you guys have been here long enough, and I appreciate every single one of you who stayed all the way till the end of this video. So, I hope you enjoyed. It's been your boy Banda Banks, and I will catch you all in the next one.